Hello everyone, uh, this short video is all about edge sizing. Um, remember uh, the edge is one of the three um, VeloCloud SD1 components together with the orchestrator. So this is how you manage the solution uh, and also the gateways. Um, so the gateways primary role is uh, as a controller, but it can also be used for things such as access to software as a service, uh, third-party VPNs and even as a hub in a uh, hub and spoke topology. Now the edges uh, come into flavors. Uh, you can have them on a bare metal, so you can buy the hardware from VMware, or you can just uh, get the virtual code and running it on ESXi or KVM platforms. Um, the important thing is that if you um, choose to go virtually as part of maybe a UCP type of setup, um, you will need to obviously come with your own server and your own licenses for ESXi. So I'm gonna now hop into uh, the browser and I'm gonna show you a few things uh, that you'll be able to see uh, in the datasheet. So I just jumped into um, the VeloCloud datasheet. That's something that uh, anyone can Google and you're presented with this document. Um, somewhere in the middle of it, you have uh, this table called physical edge specifications. And the most important things here are the actual maximum throughput. Uh, so we calculated this as the sum of upstream and downstream speeds on all the available circuits. Um, so an easy example, if you have a circuit with 100 meg up and 100 meg down, and then you have another one, uh, let's say with 50 and 50, uh, if you're using them both um, regularly at um, high capacity, uh, then you'll be looking at 200 plus another 100, so that's 300 megs. So all of a sudden, uh, the 510 or the 520 might not be enough. Second important thing is the maximum tunnel scale. Uh, so this is the number of tunnels uh, between the edges. Um, now, obviously, uh, we recommend a hub and spoke topology, um, maybe using dynamic spoke to spoke in case you do see traffic between your branches, but that makes sure that the branch tunnel numbers stay low. Again, the more tunnels, uh, the more for the box to compute and work, um, so the less performance. Also, you'll see here um, that the five 20V uh, is the small branch model that is VNF capable. So you'll be able to utilize third-party security solutions like Checkpoint, Palo Alto, or Fortinet to introduce that next generation firewall um, into your design. Scrolling down, you get the second part of the table with uh, mid size and bigger appliances. Now you can obviously use them in uh, larger sites, in the head office, for example, but you can also use them uh, to concentrate VPN traffic. Again, if you're looking to size these things uh, as a hub to bring all the VPN traffic, for example, back to your data center, the maximum tunnel number will be very important together with the maximum throughput. So on the bottom, you get the virtual edge specifications. Um, now virtual edges, the underlying hardware uh, is uh, most important because it will dictate the performance you should be expecting. So you'll see here a very big difference uh, if you're running two virtual CPUs versus if you're running 10. Also the virtual edge uh, can be run um, obviously um, in your own data centers you can cluster up to eight of them so you can very easily scale things horizontally just to let you know if for example you're looking in the aws marketplace you can just search vmware velo cloud edge and then you'll get the product overview here together with uh, the recommended uh, platforms so in this case amazon will select a couple of recommended hardware options uh, in order for you to run this at the capacity you require. 